car runs fine. No, nah, man, all seriousness though, hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, just a quick video for you guys to let you know that everything's fine. Um, I'm just kind of taking a bit of a break. I haven't really been taking care of all the stuff I have to take care of in my life. So I was just taking a break, trying to get all my stuff together. Time to see how old girl's doing. I should probably pop the hood first. It's probably a good idea. First thing I noticed off rip, obviously, I've got a coolant leak here. It's from this little T right there. So I need a new rad, or technically I could just replace that line or do something, but I've gotta, I've gotta take care of that. So I know that's a known issue. I know that when I check the oil, it's gonna be a little dark and hopefully there's no flakes or anything in it. This is the first like actual oil change that I'm doing with the 2.5 in there. It's been a minute and it's like 30 something, like 3,000 3, something miles that I've, I've put on it already. So hopefully oil is not too disgusting. I know it's gonna be dark, but hopefully it's not like fucking flaky. I am kind of concerned about that, the fine knock learn that I was seeing earlier. I don't know if I captured it on camera, but like some of the numbers were like negative nine, negative seven, and it wasn't like it was consistent. It was just when I got on the, Let's dive in. Let's get this little change going. I don't know where my, my oil bucket is, so we're using this and it should be fine. So fingers crossed that like, it's not super disgusting. And also maybe hopefully I don't lose the bolt. Sick. Ew. Brother, All right, it's pretty gross, What's but that? I don't see any metal flakes. What's that, brother? So that's good. It was also brought to my attention that like a lot of the knock and stuff that I was probably seeing might be just phantom knock uh, due to like the, the weather change. It's a little bit colder now and I haven't driven it in about a week and a half. So and I didn't see anything else leaking down there. Nothing looked loose. I'm gonna look again because I didn't look too hard, but I didn't see anything too crazy. So I think we're smooth. I think we're good. Carbs, carb, carb. Car do good car things. Got a little bit of seepage right over there, but it's probably from valve covers. Maybe want to redo those sooner than later. My power steering can go fuck itself all the way because that is, it just, I think I need to redo all those lines. I didn't replace any of the lines. I just replaced the, uh, the, the, the rack itself. So I need to probably do new fittings and whatnot there. So we'll take care of that. Again, we still got the, that coolant leak from, from up there. That's that's what all this is down here. It's a 
nice and dry up here. At least I think so. I don't really, I don't really see too, too much going on. Oh yeah, car's good. Motor's pretty healthy. This is the first oil change since we've had the 2.5 in there. I added a strut brace. I should have mentioned that. That was a little while ago, but extra rigidity, I guess. So that's cool. I know y'all were worried and you thought my car had blown up or something. I'm gonna knock on air because you know, it's still good, but it hasn't. The car is fine. I just have been taking a break. I just had to step away from YouTube for a little bit. That's really all I had going on. I gotta be better at announcing when I'm doing stuff like that or just being like, hey guys, taking a break or something like that. I don't know. I do have some personal stuff to take care of that's gonna take a lot of my attention for a little bit. So videos aren't gonna be coming out as frequently as they should be, but like I'm, I will be working up back to like a, a more consistent schedule for you guys. Um, in that time though, I am planning on doing a fuck ton of body work. I don't really like these wheels anymore. I don't dislike them, but I'm kind of just bored with them. I want something new. Also, just a lot of miscellaneous body work to do, like fixing up the door here, probably getting a new fender, taking care of my, uh, what are these called? Oh my God, my rocker panels, my quarters. This isn't too bad, but the other side, I wanna make sure that we get this taken care of. Obviously, like it's, you know, it's not done yet. It's worked, but it's, it's probably gotta be reworked and done some more. Bumpers hanging off. Like there's, there's just a ton of stuff that I wanna do. I have two new sets of side skirts sitting up in the garage somewhere that I wanna be able to put on. And then also got this S202 wing here that I wanna do something with at some point. So there's a, a ton of stuff that I wanna do. I just, obviously I need to be able to fund that. So it's gonna take me some time to get all that situated and find a good reputable place that I can get all that stuff done at. As we've all seen for quite some time now, body work is one of those things that I'm just not very handy with so we're gonna pass that off to somebody else does anybody else do this I'm, I'm not sure if you have to but i've always just done it like i just pour a little bit of not a little bit but i just i, I fill up the filter with oil get it around the rim and kind of just let it do its thing so that the filter itself is full of oil and then i put it back on the car well let me know down in the comments if that's something that you guys do religiously too or if i'm just weird all right filters on and tight drain bolts on and tight i don't see any metal flakes in that super dark disgusting oil so Looks like our motor should be good. We're using 5W40 Motul because that's what these cars like or 10W40, whatever you guys prefer. But once you guys switch to this, don't try to go back to 530. Your car will not like that. I 1000% totally forgot to record the outro for you guys. It's fucking dark outside now, but that was all I had today. Oil change, checking on the car, making sure it's all good. Obviously everything seems pretty fine. The fine knock that I saw earlier probably was just some phantom knock, no big deal. To sum everything up, I'm still alive and well. My car still runs and drives. I'm still making YouTube videos. I'm just taking a quick little break to make sure that everything else I need to get done in life is getting done. And I don't like over compulse on my car because I do do that a lot. <laughs> do do. I do that a lot. So I mean, in the meantime, I'm just gonna be working, playing a lot of video games, it's kind of what I do. So you might see some more of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the Wukong streams. I enjoyed playing it. I like games like that. Also like Sparking Zero, Call of Duty. I play a ton of games. So I'll be doing that when I'm not working on my car, which is gonna be for a little bit. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I, I hope you guys liked it. Comment, like, and subscribe. And um, if anyone wants a five speed transmission, please come take it off my hands. Cause I don't want that. I want six speed, six speed. All right. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Jake, my car do the things. My car do the things. It do the things through all four or five years. <laughs>